Hello everyone, welcome back to Fighters channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for supporting me, guys. Tyson Fury told how the planet winter fight of Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder will end. Despite the fact that he wishes victory to his compatriot, Fury considers the American to be the favorite. They are both the uh, losers. I can't lie to you, these are two losers. Do I really need to answer this question? I think we all know what's going to happen. I would like AJ to knock him out because Wilder is a little bitch. I'm sorry, but he is a fucking loser. But I see such an outcome that Joshua will be punched and knocked out, say the Gypsy King. According to British promoter Reddy Hearn, all the conditions for the fight of former world heavyweight champions Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder have already been agreed. However, the host country Saudi Arabia, for some reason, is in no hurry to consolidate the guarantees on paper. And because of this, there may be options both with the venue and even with Joshua's rival, as the Huron says. We have agreed on the terms of Joshua Wilder fight, Huron said. But until we receive a contract, the fight will not take place. As for us, we are ready to take this fight. We talked to Wilder's manager, Shelly Finger. They are ready to take this fight. This doesn't necessarily have to happen only in Saudi Arabia. Now there are other talks about other countries in which the duel could take place. There is a movement of boxing managers and owners in Saudi Arabia, and it depends only on them what they wanted to do. I decide. If they don't make the Joshua Wilder fight, maybe it will take place somewhere else. It's one of the biggest heavyweight fights and we are being told that they want to do it. But I really wouldn't be surprised if Joshua ended up fighting Tyson Fury. Star heavyweight Anthony Joshua and uh, Deontay Wilder could not agree on a fight. This was told by former world champion and now commentator Tony Bellew. As Bellew notes, Joshua and Wilder have already stopped negotiations. Now the British team is fixated on holding a fight with Tyson Fury. The organizers also have the opportunity to hold a fight in Africa. I have heard rumors that Joshua and Wilder have stopped negotiations. Right now Joshua's team is leaning towards a fight against Tyson Fury. There is an option to bring a big fight to Africa. That would be great, a new rumble in the jungle. You say. Former World Heavyweight Champion Anthony Joshua may hold a third fight this year in December. If the fight against another ex-champion Deontay Wilder is postponed to a later date, promoter Eddie Hearn said. According to him, they are continuing negotiations with the Saudi company Skill Challenge Promotions, which is ready to finance the fight with Wilder in Saudi Arabia. And so far we are talking about January next year. Negotiations are continuing, and we are still talking about a fight in January. If we don't complete the negotiations, or they postpone the fight to February or March, we may hold a fight in December, he said in an interview. Wilder talked about holding the fight in October, but it's already September. He is looking forward to a fight with Wilder in January. He is training and wants to box in December. If they change their mind and say, let's do a fight with Wilder in December, he will go for it. But everyone says that the fight will take place. For now, we keep the possibility of a fight in December open. Ideally, we would have gone strength to the fight with Wilder. The functionary said, The attempts of the British ex heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua to learn something new under the guardians of American coach Derek James have not yet brought the desired result. This may be painful for him in the upcoming duel against American Deontay Wilder. Such considerations were shared by the former champion in two categories, boxing expert and analyst Paul Malignaggi. I don't think it's possible to box against Wilder the the way Joshua boxed Helenius for 6-7 rounds, Malignaggi said. Wilder will find a convenient distance, pick up the trajectory, I am the sign to take you out. You have to scare him violently, and I have a big doubt that Wilder will be scared by these careful touches and attempts to get closer, while Wilder will continue to deliver jobs and those forehand blows. Yes, Wilder has bad footwork and his combinations are no better either. Paul Malignaggi states, Yes, he only has his 2-1-2, but it's a damn dangerous 1-2 blows, and he knows how to use it. 
Joshua, on the other hand, was never a guy who used head movements. He is drunk now, but he thinks about it too much and doesn't do enough at the same time. Joshua is literally slowing everything down. And I think this indecision will play a cruel joke on him against Wilder. British promoter Radio Hearn released that the fight between two popular British boxers Chris Eubing Jr. and Conor Ben could become one of the biggest events in boxing if it takes place at the end of this year. This fight was planned to be held last fall, and it really aroused great interest in the United Kingdom, including by the fact that it was supposed to continue the confrontation in the ring started by their fathers, Chris Eubing and Nigel Benn. But the fight was cancelled after Benn's positive doping test, and then Eubing unexpectedly lost by a knockout to Liam Smith in January of this year. But now Benn seems to have had the opportunity to continue his boxing career, and Eubing confidently took revenge on Smith on September 2nd. This makes the fight one of the biggest in boxing and definitely in British boxing, Hearn said in an interview. Some compare it to the Fury Joshua fight. I don't think it's the same scale, but it's only slightly inferior. We will have a meeting in London to discuss this, Hearn added, referring to Eubanks promoter Kelly Sauerland. I think both guys have other options, but the fact is that this is the biggest fight for both of them. It will be a big event in the United Kingdom. Welterweight champion Conor Ben, according to Hearn, may return to the ring at the end of September in the United States, as his team would like to arrange a warm-up match for him after a longer break and before a big middleweight fight against Eubank. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.